What's up, YouTube family? This is Jeff with a little bit of everything home services. Coming to you with another video, and today, family, I am at a client's house where I have a bad outdoor TXV and filter dryer. And I'm gonna be honest. If I had to do over again, I probably would have been like, uh, this unit, this unit needs to be replaced. And you know, I'm not a big just replace this unit type of person. But I'm gonna do the work anyway. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. All right, so this is the TXV and filter dryer, and as you can see, it has already moved the lid of the unit. It's an old R22 unit, you know. So I've already moved the lid on it, and if you look. In order to remove this TXV, we have to sweat it off here to remove these capillary tubes out of the way. Then I'm going to sweat it at the bottom to pull this whole filter dryer up. Then I'm going to have to sweat it right here to get this cap tube out of there. So this is, this is a pain. This is very tight, very limited visibility. but. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna get started okay family so what I decided to do because I can't see down there so I took the access panel off right here you see I took the access panel off right there so what I'm gonna do instead family is I'm gonna sweat off this liquid line right here um, sweat that off and pull the whole thing out that's much more easy and accessible even easier than right there where that joint is I'm gonna do it here then I can pull the whole thing out. Well, after I do the, uh, after I do that 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 small line, um, I'll be able to pull the whole thing out. Okay, family. As you can see, I hope you can see the sun is pretty bright out here. But uh, I removed the whole thing. TXV filter dryer, the liquid line port, uh, everything, and it was much much easier. And as you can see down here, I was trying to blind braze it, and I was missing. I was gonna pull my, I was gonna pull my mirror out, and I was like, you know what? Let's make this easy. Let's work smarter, and not harder. So I decided to move the whole thing, like I said. All right. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna braze the, the new filter dryer in, and I'm gonna remove this from here, and um, and go ahead and put everything back. Okay, family. So here is the final product. As you can see, I've uh, raised in that that um, Biflow filter dryer, the TXV. Now, what's important when you when you change down a TXV family? Make sure you protect that TXV. You know, uh, I I um, spray some protection on it. I wrap it up with a wet towel. Now, what I spray on it is thermal um, trap. Some reason for it, so. Thermal trap, heat absorbing gel. I spray that on to protect that TXV, and uh, that's that's all that that you see around there. All, you, all that, you know, gooky looking stuff is is that. Even on that uh, filter dryer. But I've gone through, and as you can see, remember I removed it. Now I put everything back, and uh, it was much much easier the way that I uh, decided to do it than trying to braze blind with the mirror and all that type of stuff. So. Um, now I'm going to put this unit back on. Right now I got it on a uh, nitrogen hole. And holding strong and steady. So I'm going to put this unit back together and then I'm going to go ahead and pull a vacuum and uh, and get this thing charged back and back up and running. All right, family, I want to thank you for taking the time out to check out the video. Talk to you soon. Have a blessed day.